All right, so just to run through this one more time real quick, we are doing the launch for Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, this is the second chapter of Subnautica, as I said previously, but you guys may not have been able to hear me. Um, this is a new release for PlayStation 5, even though it is... Uh, so this is just new for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4. It's been out for other consoles and other players already. So how is everybody doing today? Dread, how are you doing today? Yeah, I can't stand people that come on here and they're all like, hey, you want to be famous? Well, then buy your subs, buy your followers. I like to earn everything that I get, please. I am not about to take any shortcuts, so please stop coming on my stream and making those offers because you will get banned immediately. No warnings, no nothing. First off, I do say that the graphics are much, much better in this one compared to the other ones. Approaching 45, 46 speed. Surface temperature is Drop on deployed. should have been that close but one thing we do have to take into consideration in this game is hypothermia we want to make sure we keep our temperature up to a good level first thing in this thing what we want to do is start by getting some materials right away First thing else I want to do is make it so our items that we can interact with will be highlighted. Alright. I like color green. So we'll do that. And we'll make sure we save. So now that we're huddled next to our ship, what we want to first look for is a database entry. Check our PDA. We need to find three filtered bottles, oh, three, three filtered water bottles, three nutrient blocks, and nine flares to start with. If our body temperature starts falling, we need to find thermal lilies. Or stand next to the burning wreckage of our shuttle. We can cross a path to the open water, which will allow us to swim to the drop pod. And that is our first 
order of business is to find those materials that are on the ground. One of the nutrient blocks. Where? New blueprint synthesized. bottle of filtered water and one nutrient block. We need to go and find our drop pod. know what we need to do. I'm going to let you guys see the, some of these. As I mentioned previously, right now you can find Dred's latest video up on our YouTube main page. Unlike where I did a full game playthrough, we are doing something called Dread Versus. In this case, it's Dread Versus the Village. Then it's Dredd's interaction with the big main bosses, climactic experiences, and his thoughts as well on how he is getting past these things. Uh, and just one second as I let you guys continue to read this. to answer a message as well. Let's go ahead and down and look at this next piece. Let you guys read that for a minute. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out with me, Dread, man. Uh, I can uh, open up Discord so we can talk more if you want. Voice chat is open up now if you are interested in uh, coming in and chatting up with me. Anybody else interested in popping in Discord and having a conversation while we do our gameplay? You can find a link to our Discord and you can find that under Go Live Notifications for Twitch or if you are over on our YouTube main page, you can find them in just about any of the descriptions below our videos. Come on in, let's have a chat about this game or anything else you guys want to talk about. I will be here till about 7 Eastern Time. Alright, so next thing we want to do is try to locate some more of our items that fell from the ship.
down to 57 degrees. Go over here, warm ourselves back up. And double check our inventory here. Should be two more bottles of water on the ground somewhere around here. Should be uh, everything. Warm up ourselves up one more time. We also want to try to Oh, that's cool, Dred. I'm glad to hear that you got your boy with you this week. Now we got some of these materials. Our next order of business is to get our way to the drop pod. We are currently in a place called Sector Zero. Our drop pod is going to be over in this location. Did not, did not go, go as, as planned. planned. I should I find should a way to the water to the drop pod. These plants are not friendly. Here we are, the water. important that we keep our eye on O2 at the time. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. Grab a couple of these fish. Let's get into this drop pod. Oxygen. All right, let's get up here so we can redo our, our oxygen. that way into that drop pod. Oxygen. Oxygen. 
Controls are slightly wonky here. That's going to be a fish that comes in handy later on. I kind of feel dumb here. I feel like we should have a simple way of getting in here. So we're going to have to make a few things here. That's our little locker. There's all things that we are going to need. In order for us to start getting these things, we're going to need to first create a survival knife, scanner, and a standard O2 tank to get started. But we don't have the materials for these things quite yet. Well, well Sam, Sam, I guess I, guess I, might, I might as well, as well gather, gather some tools and resources, and resources before starting, starting my search. search. Hope that, Hope that radio, radio tower, tower is easy, is easy to, to spot, spot as Lil said. said. We should have the blueprints for the survival knife. We're gonna pin that. We're going to need to create a scanner. We're gonna pin that. And then a standard O2 tank in that recipe. In order to get those things that we're going to need for them, we're going to need a battery and one titanium. Titanium can be acquired by breaking open limestone outcrops, which litter the floor and walls of many of the bloms, including the one we are currently in. The outcrop also depletes copper ore, which is required to craft batteries. The other resources needed for batteries are ribbon plants, which are small, narrow, yellow, and green plants generally found in the caves of the shallow, uh, uh, shallow twisty bridges. We'll 
Once we have all the items we need to return to Dropbox Pod and Craft Scanner, Scanner allows us to scan fauna, flora, rocks, and most importantly, fragments. Fragments are broken pieces of technology that litter the floors on many bloms. Each bloom has a different array of fragments. One very useful piece of technology that can be scanned in the shallow twisty bridges is the Sea Glide, which generally increases your movement speed. Note that it and the scanner require a charge battery to operate. The first thing we want to focus on crafting is going to be our scanner. So we need to go find some titanium and copper ore. So let's go ahead and take a look. We need a battery and titanium. In order to create the battery we are going to need other things. Go ahead out. Should be able to use this. Alright, so far we got one of the titanium. Oxygen. Alright, so, so far we got two titanium. Now in order to craft the battery. go find the ribbon plant which is supposed to be in cave Weather weather Seek shelter. Alright, let's go find my drop pod again. There we are. Alright, let's figure out what we need to craft a battery. ourselves a battery. This should allow us to do our scanner now.
Alright, so now we got the scanner. And then we can go into... Here, and what do I want to do? So we got the scanner, now we need... survival knife. So we'll pin that. For that one, it looks like we need... Alright, so our next thing is going to be the knife. We can find that knife by going over by the cave. Going just slightly in the opposite direction. Creep vines around here. Oxygen. Makes me feel like those long things are the creep vines. I did, however, find the kelp forest. And we gotta find the seed thing. 
street line right there. need here right. oh. seed cluster seed cluster looks like little upside down red sperm it does, I'm not even making that up. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek yeah. shelter. And now there's a storm coming on top of it. And they're supposed to be hanging off of these things. titanium oxygen clusters on these. Oxygen. It really be just hanging off of one, but let me try scanning the plant. Oxygen. swim along the surface here. Um, oh, there we go. So it's like a big mother. 
New blueprint synthesized. Yeah, you were right. It definitely looks like some sperm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full on them. Okay, now I gotta go back to my, Oxygen. my drop pod. Question is, what else do I need for that other thing? craft is an O2 tank. Let me go into my menu here. two pieces of titanium for that. So we'll pin the recipe and then I need to know how to make the fiber mesh as well. Let's go ahead into our recipe blueprints over here. Oh, you gotta make the mesh. I need two creep vine samples which can be used on by, okay, cool. I have to cut down some of them creep vines. And then I have to find another piece of titanium. Not a bad game, man, I mean. Alright, let's make sure that I'm completely equipped here for and we'll also store some shit. Oops. Storage. some water with us. <laughs> He's gotta catch them all. our base set again we're gonna go back over to that kelp forest Oxygen. 
Right? Let's just see, there's our kelp up ahead. All Terra supply cache nearby. There's a catch nearby that has some supplies in it. We will find that eventually. You're just not going to worry about it right this moment. What are you? Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. Can I have my knife back, please? What happened? Huh? I, I died chasing after the fucking sea monkey. Little bastard stole your knife and killed you. <laughs> killed you with your own knife. Maybe there's something over here. Maybe I can get it back. Emergency supply catch over here. Oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you before you started. So. Oxygen.
Oxygen. I bet you my flares are back in the I know where a whole bunch of those seed things are. Well, somebody has to.
Titanium and creep vine sample. Synthesized oxygen. Pick on steroids. Oink! All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique identifier Delta Station Dock. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Hmm. Looks like that might be something we will eventually be going towards. First, let's go back to our drop ship. Second, buddy, I'll walk you down. Thank you. 
Alright gamers, I am unfortunately out of time for this particular video. I will finish some of the rest of this objectives upon my return this evening. So you guys will get a second video out of this. And as I said before, we will be running the original Subnautica on Monday's Time Warp. So in the meantime, everybody, if you're watching on Twitch, hit that follow and that share button helps out more than you know. Then head on over to our main YouTube page over there. Check out some of the videos there that have been edited and completed. Right now we are featuring Dread vs. The Village. While you're there, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Click our ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and Gamers Purgatory. And check out the description below for links to our Facebook and our Discord. And I will catch you later on this evening for the conclusion of this video. Peace.